So next up, we're going to have an update about the Digital Resources Consultation Group. And that, for those of you who may not know, is a group that's being set up to, uh, it's an initiative that's being set up to come up with a selection of e-resources that can be shared through the province of BC Public Libraries should funding become available. So up to talk about this is Emily Matthews, who's the chair of the group. And Emily has worked in libraries for most of her life, and she can make her way up to the stage as I, as I tell people about this. She started off as a teen volunteer at the West Vancouver Memorial Library and never really left the field. Since then, she's worked in many libraries in every possible department, from library assistant to public services assistant to reference librarian and children's librarian, and now works at Vancouver Island Regional Library as their e-resources librarian. She's passionate about all aspects of library services and has great enthusiasm for technology, programs, and connecting with our communities through dynamic outreach and library services. Here she is now. So, so that works. Uh, like Scott, I'm just going to read out loud. I don't have any uh, presentation, but I just uh, wanted to give everyone a, a little update about some of the incredible work that um, the Digital Consultation Group has been doing. Um, I've been really um, happy to work with such a great group of people. Um, it's been a really, really positive experience. Um, so how this group formed is basically uh, Libraries Branch asked uh, the, uh, the BCLC to come up um, with a, uh, in response, right, the Libraries uh, Branch strategic plan. Uh, so they asked the British Columbia Libraries Cooperative to establish a digital resources consultation group uh, to provide the Ministry of Education with a recommended core collection of digital resources for, people, for uh, BC Public Libraries. Um, so, I'm going to call it the DRCG. The DRCG will consult with all the public libraries uh, in British Columbia through surveys. So you guys probably all have received um, surveys and we have had an incredible response um, uh, from that. Um, so we are going through uh, surveys and other forms of consultation with emphasis on focusing on rural libraries as well as our urban branches. Uh, the three goals that we have set out for this group were to, was to consult with all public libraries in British Columbia and to develop recommendations regarding a core collection, um, core collection of digital resources for BC public libraries. Uh, our second goal was to explore and investigate multiple options based on potential funding levels from the province. And our third goal was to, after consultation with all public libraries in British Columbia, to provide that recommendation of kind of proposal to the Ministry of Education regarding those digital resources. So um, uh, around the time of BCLA, a survey was sent out to the, um, the directors uh, listserv. And so uh, since then, we have received, uh, uh, Laura, you can correct me if I'm wrong, I think over an 80%. 90% response rate to that. 65 out of 71. Yeah, it was, it's been an incredible response, so we're really, really encouraged by that. Um, I just wanted to uh, show you a little bit of some of the, uh, or tell you rather, I should say, some of those uh, interesting uh, things that we've gotten from the survey. So just a little heads up that we've only received this yesterday. <laughs> um, our survey uh, consultation group is now just starting to analyze the data. Um, so thank you to Lori and Tammy for collecting all that. I know it was an incredibly huge job. <laughs> okay. So some of the things uh, that we, we got was that our top 10 resources, most of them interestingly are actually um, not cost per use uh, resources. The top two that were cost per use would be considered overdrive and hoopla, and even overdrive we wouldn't necessarily consider that a cost per use resource. So that's really encouraging um, and really exciting. Um, the second thing that we were um, excited to see uh, from the, uh, the survey was that there, uh, we're hoping to see some really uh, interesting similarities uh, between urban libraries and also between uh, rural libraries in terms of, um, in terms of uh, database usage uh, and also to see um, if there are any big differences so that hopefully we'll be able to get that data to you later on in the next month or so. Um, and then the last thing I just really quickly wanted to mention that I'm really excited to see 
was that um, an overwhelming response from all of the pub BC Public Libraries said that they would like to see um, a provincially shared BC published library platform, which we thought was very exciting. It's not necessarily something that we um, will be able to, at the end of this um, consultation groups, to recommend to the government to fund, but at the same time, it's just something that we thought was really interesting to see um, that there was an overwhelming response from all the BC libraries, that that's something that they're interested in. So um, just so you know, we, the, um, we're hoping to present uh, to Libraries Branch by the end of August. So we have, uh, uh, we're hoping to uh, analyze all this data in the next couple of weeks. Um, and then also um, throughout July and August, based, compile all this data into a proposal that we will give to Libraries Branch. And so we will all hopefully be updated around that time. So that's all I really have to say, um, and I can answer any questions if people have some uh, questions about this group. Um, yeah. Short and sweet. <laughs> question, but I just wanted to thank the whole group on behalf of the Ministry of Education for the amazing work that you've done in a ridiculously short <laughs> time um, for such an important project. And um, um, I've been nothing but impressed with uh, the events and meetings that I attend and the information that you've been producing, and I'm, uh, I'm very much looking forward to the proposals. And my fingers and my toes and everything else I can cross across that we actually may be able to move forward with this. It's time for, uh, it's really time for us to be able to say that we're going to do this as a collective from the country. Everybody can crush your fingers, please. <laughs> and we're really hoping to have a couple tier um, in our proposal for the library's branch to have a couple tier um, you know, suggestions or proposals um, for library, library's branch to present to the, um, to the Ministry of Education, so stay tuned. Yeah. Do you want me to show you a little bit of the survey? I won't show any of the libraries, but I can show you some of the results from the top resources. Would that be okay? Okay, wonderful. Do I just unplug this deck down here? Is there another one that I can use? I'm going to go rogue. Question six of the survey, and um, at, uh, so it says the DRCG has created a short list of 32 resources that could be under consideration for inclusion in the provincially funded core collection. Please rate each resource into one of five categories. Please do not assign what the um, so obviously the top one right here we've got is Overdrive or Library to Go. It's our number one used database and number one most positively used database. Second one is Lynda.com. Third, RV Digital e-magazines, formerly known as Zinio. Um, fourth, Press Reader. And then Consumer Reports. Uh, followed by Ancestry, Library Edition, Canadian News Stream, Mango Languages, Hoopla is in there as well, and that's the one I was talking about. That is um, cost per circ. Um, and then we've got Gale Courses, Novelist, Canopy, RB Digital E Audiobooks and Ebooks, Automate, Tumble Books Online, Masterfile, followed by No VC. So those are, I think, are the top 15 actually. So just Interesting data, and we're having fun um, comp uh, looking at it all. And I think next week is when we're going to have our next meeting, I believe on Wednesday, to go over all this, and we'll present to um, the BC LC Digital Consultation Group on Thursday. So it's all happening live. <laughs> Great. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks very much.